Since gaining our freedom and independence from the British colonial power, Ghana has so far been spared civil war, famine, and epidemics. And the construction of the cathedral will be an act of thanksgiving to the Almighty for his blessings, favor, grace, and mercies on our nation. The interdenominational national cathedral will be the rallying point for the Christian community to come together to worship to pray and to promote deep national conversations on the role of faith in building Mother God. When Solomon built, one of the prayers he prayed was this, that, O oh God, whenever your people sin and turn away from you, and you shut the heavens and you are angry with them, if they turn their face to this temple and pray, hear, O oh Lord, and forgive. My name is Diana Hamilton. I'm a singer-songwriter a recording artist. My father invested his resources, his gift, his money towards the things of God. And I have seen God move me from places that I do not have to be to places beyond my wildest dream. That is because my father's offering has become a memorial in the sight of God. The National Cathedral is a historic project uh, that addresses a key challenge in our nation building. Uh, that is the lack of a sacred space or infrastructure for the solemn religious activities of state. Uh, it allows the state then to be able to have a space uh, for the sacred rituals uh, like state funerals, uh, burials, presidential inaugural services, Thanksgiving services, and that really is what defines its national character and that is really what makes it different from the other cathedrals we have. The National Cathedral will be that one significant symbol of Christianity in Ghana. We looked very much at one of the most important celebrations in our cultural life, the Durbars, and the way in which our kinship culture creates the structure for our cultural life. The architecture that's looked at here is the architecture of the enclosure, the architecture of the umbrellas and the fabrics that keep people cool in the hot sun. It has um, conferencing spaces, it has uh, banqueting halls, it has chapels, it has a crypt. We've developed the cathedral by integrating a museum of the Bible, where the history, the narrative, the impact of the Bible uh, in Africa and in Ghana is made possible. We will have a biblical garden that will give us some of the features of Israel in order that when you are reading the Bible and you come across something like a fig tree, an olive tree, you will understand what the Bible is saying. And the third element that we've integrated is really an economic engine. And so for that, we have a restaurant uh, which kind of offers biblical menu. Uh, that really ensures that also becomes an income uh, generator. We are not building another church, but we are making a statement. We are not just making a statement. We are infiltrating the tourism industry. We are not just infiltrating the tourism industry. We are trying to bring Israel into Ghana. The National Cathedral project is a game changer for the tourism sector. The project will attract millions of tourists and businesses into the country. We have our people going to Israel for religious purposes, that's Christians, or perhaps even the Muslims going to Mecca. They spend a lot of money. Why don't we now create something in our destination that would attract people for the purposes of religious um, tourism? The National Cathedral builds a sense of pride among people. It also will be a tremendous economic boost to the economy based on tourism coming in and the amount of money that is spent at hotels and restaurants. It also will position Ghana as one of the great places in the world to see how God is, His hand is upon this country and these people. And the whole world will respond to something like this. You see uh, a world in which for Africa alone 1.3 billion people about half of us are Christians. Um, so imagine even 10% flowing through um, Ghana on a pilgrimage instead of going to Israel um, using Ghana as, as your hub. 
you are beginning to widen um, that network and I think you're going to see Ghana as an investment destination as more people come through. The Lord has been good to this country. Giving is to thank God for how far he's taking this blessed nation. Secondly, the Lord has been good to me and therefore when there is a monument to his glory, I want to have my voice and my seed money in it. I look at myself as uh, being privileged by this country to be able to come from a small town to get the type of education that I've had for free and then to be blessed with this position. And the question is how do you give back um, to the Republic in the same way in which uh, the Republic has given to you? So a seed for the nation so a seed for yourself and your family let us sow a seed for them to come and share in the good things that god has done for us and king solomon asked each and every person to bring his or her stone for the building of the temple you and i as believers want to have ownership of this monument and that is why you've got to contribute to the building of the national cathedral this year Molo, the only two national cathedral every Ghanaian should be given the opportunity to make a contribution to the building of the national cathedral and so there are those who can give so much but there are those who can also give the very little they have and so we are providing this short code, TA 979 hash, as uh, a way to ensure that every Ghanaian uh, can write his or her name into the history of building this critical national infrastructure for the nation. Star 979 hash. 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 This National Cathedral does not belong to any individual. It bears the name of Yahweh, the name of him who created the heavens and the earth. And whenever we go in there to pray, we pray in that name that is above every other name. That there will come a time when any one of our kids may find themselves in trouble when they turn to that National Cathedral and call for mercy and call upon the God of their fathers who contributed and gave to the building of that national cathedral. God will look down upon the sacrifices you and I make today. No matter how small or no matter how huge it might be, it counts before God. I have done mine and I'm doing more and I expect you to do your little and your much. May the Lord remember you as you give towards this National Cathedral. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah.